In the previous video, we learned about what system design actually is. So in this video, let's learn about why system design is so important. When you start off with your engineering career, you only get responsibility of a few functions, of writing a few lines of code or a few files of code, or maybe even writing a complete microservice for a big complex software project. And you only get a micro view of the entire project. And it's not until you've had a few good years of experience that you're exposed to the inner workings of the entire product. For example, the architecture, the way it's deployed, the way it's managed, all the scaling decisions and so on. So it can be said that the more senior you are in an engineering team, the more information you have of the product from end to end. And you have something called as the macro view of the entire product's technology. And this is why you will be invaluable in taking the decisions to scale the tech and to ensure that it runs smoothly. Now, having a macro view of the entire tech is immensely important to becoming an engineering leader. And companies these days want this critical skill in the people that they hire. And this is why system design is getting more and more important. Companies now don't want people who just have a micro view of the product, but have a wide understanding of the technology. And they appreciate people who know how different components work, what strategies can be used to scale up the tech and remove bottlenecks as they appear. So we are now clear that system design is important for leadership positions in the engineering department. And that means that the knowledge of system design helps you stand apart and also increases your worth in the market. As you transcend in your engineering career, more and more importance is given to system design. And you need to start thinking of the product as a system of individual components and modules that work together to make the entire system work. And you start to develop something called as systems thinking, where you're thinking about how to make the system more efficient and scalable. So in the early days of your career, the interviews you would have would comprise of coding rounds, data structures and algorithms, and they're testing you for your problem solving abilities. But as you go up the ladder, and let's say you have seven years, nine years or 11 years of experience, it's understood that you can code and you can solve problems and that's how you've been around for so long. But what can really get you considered for top leadership positions at that stage are your system design skills. So it's not uncommon to have interviews for CTOs where the system design round itself is for three hours and that's it, no coding. Because they understand that you probably won't be writing the code since you'll have engineers at your disposal. Now let's say you don't have decades of experience but you want to start your own company as an entrepreneur or become a tech founder, then the most important skill that you need, again, is system design. Because you'll be the person taking all the decisions on the tech. And you can always hire engineers to build based on your vision once you raise some capital. So basically, as you go up the ladder, the decision to hire you becomes less about coding and more about system design. And you may not even have coding rounds later on. And while it's typical to see 45 minutes system design rounds, you might see smaller or bigger interviews depending on how senior of a position are you applying for. If you're applying for an entry-level position, your system design round might be 15 or 20 minutes. That's because it's understood that you don't have the skill set to design intricate and complex systems yet. But if you've been around for 25 years, then all that they're going to ask you is system design. All right, so we agree now that for senior engineering positions and for becoming a tech founder, System design skills are seriously important. But then maybe you're an entry-level engineer and you have no plans of starting a company and you're confused as to why system design is important for you. Well, the thing is that there are so many new startups now that are hiring young engineers and giving them a lot of responsibilities to handle and scale the technology. And they're also looking for people who can be groomed into leadership positions. Basically, long-term people who grow with the company. And even the bigger companies now start small teams to take bets on newer technologies like blockchain and AI. And these teams are built of young engineers. And this is a reason why you might be seeing more importance of system design recently. All right, in the next video, we'll talk about the skill sets that you need to become great at system design.